Okay, today we're going to be doing a quick tabletop review of the Seek Thermal Imaging Camera from Seek Thermal. Uh, this particular camera is an Android device. It plugs into uh, your tablet or phone that is Android 4.3 and up uh, via its micro USB port and that has to be uh, a USB port that is uh, on the go or OTG enabled. Uh, this camera is uh, kind of a breakthrough. Uh, for anybody that's looked at thermal imaging and thermal imagers, uh, you're finding you know all these devices for the most part are thousands of dollars aside some from, aside from some very low resolution handheld units. Uh, this camera actually has a 206 by 156 sensor array, which is uh, pretty good sized as far as uh, entry mid level uh, consumer products. And uh, and the big breakthrough is that it's available for two hundred dollars, which is uh, just remarkable. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, and do a review on this. Uh, you open the package; it comes with a a, a carry, nice heavy duty carrying case, and the Seek camera. Uh, this camera, like I said before, is micro USB. Uh, it's also a uh, pretty well built with the uh, casing being magnesium so it's uh, should be pretty durable aside from the connector which may be a little bit frail. Uh, one thing to note about this camera is uh, that the uh, the connector on it let me see if I can get this zoomed in here the connector on it uh, does not rotate it's a fixed connector so basically what this thing likes to be plugged into with is a device where your long flat side of your micro USB is facing the front or the, or the back of the phone, not the side you look at, but the, the back of the phone. And with a connector on the bottom, it works best that way, so it would be mounted like this at the bottom of your camera. If you have a side port or use an armor case like an OtterBox, what you might find is that you need a uh, an extension cable uh, to be able to use it, which is, can be a little bit cumbersome. So what we're going to do is uh, I've already downloaded the software onto a Android tablet and uh, we'll plug this thing in and we'll, I'll give you a quick demonstration of the software and what this thing can do. Okay, as I had previously mentioned, we're going to be doing a demo of the Seek camera on uh, using a tablet. Uh, in this case, what we have here is a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 running Android 4.4.2. Uh, of course, here's the Seek camera. Uh, you can tell it's got a pretty nice little carrying case for it. So we'll go ahead and pull the camera out and oops, flip this over and plug it into the micro USB port. Now I do have a protector on this, but it doesn't have much, uh, doesn't have a lot of room where it's uh, interfering. Okay, so the camera pops up. Now, what I have here in this case, uh, you're looking at an image of my foot. There's where my foot was on the floor, heated up. Uh, so what you're looking at is the main uh, display panel for your seat camera. Uh, basically you can just use it to monitor. You can also record videos and sh take still images. Uh, still images are saved as a JPEG and your videos are saved as MP4s. Uh, right now we'll run through the options first and looking at the options uh, Temperature units I have set to Fahrenheit. Color palette is uh, it gives you a lot of choices here. Now I, right now I've been playing around with the white, hot, black, cold. Uh, I'm going to run through and name off the other color palettes that uh, this thing can show you uh, video in. Okay, we have uh, white, hot, black, hot, iron, cool, amber indigo and I'm going to say Tyrian it might be Tyrian I think this is the standard by the way glory which is red white and blue go USA right uh, and lastly envy where green is hot okay, looks like you wanted to swipe the screen there so we're going to go back uh, actually we'll go back to what I believe is a default default and we're going to save that okay uh, now couple of other options that we have on this camera are we have uh, image preferences uh, aspect ratio gives you a choice it gives you 4.3 or 16.9 uh, looking at the math uh, with the sensor array 
this uh, 206 by 156 sensor is actually uh, pretty close to a 4 to 3 ratio. So in my thoughts, and this may be, may be wrong, but I'm thinking if you go with a 16 by 9 you're actually not going to be using the full sensor array or it's going to have to extrapolate in a less than fairly square method. So uh, I'm, um, I'm thinking that the 16 by 9 may not be that that usable ratio. I'm, maybe the uh, seat can, can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, watermarks. You have a choice of several watermarks that could you might find a value. Uh, you have date and time which you can turn on. It will display in the upper left corner in red on your screen. Uh, you can plug location on it. I haven't used the location function but uh, it can embed and put your actual GPS coordinates I guess on there. Uh, if you want to record where it's at or save that data with it. And if you're proud or you want to make Seek proud, you can put the Seek logo on the bottom right of your screen if you like to advertise. Uh, I do not, so we're going to take that back off. Uh, we will turn the date and time on for right now and back out of this menu. Uh, other than that, you have uh, uh, your terms and uh, policies about that's all that for your for your that's all that's in your settings menu okay going back out now you can see we have the date and time up at the top get my feet are hot okay uh, now what we're going to do is there's I'll, I'll go through the rest of the features on the film basically right now you see on the bottom right you have a little camera lens icon you have four modes that this thing will normally display in uh, right now we're looking at just a basic camera mode. I have another mode where it will put a, a spot in the middle of the screen and it will tell me what temperature it is that I am uh, the, whatever whatever's behind that spot. In this case uh, my foot's about 77 degrees apparently. Uh, just one thing on the temperature measurements on this camera. Uh, I did test it out with a with a laser pointer, you know, an industrial camera for uh, measuring temperatures of piping and stuff like that. Uh, going from freezing to about three four hundred degrees kind of hard to get it to correlate uh, it would bounce around you know 10 to 15 degrees apart or maybe you know spot on to 15 degrees apart so I don't know if this is how accurate this uh, calibration is on the temperature on this so I wouldn't use it to take your baby's temperature uh, okay next we have a high low mode where this camera will go and basically show you whatever is uh, the highest the highest and lowest spot on the uh, on the screen. In this case we have the cat. So uh, you can see his uh, he's the high at 84 with the carpet being 64 in the background. Uh, another feature we have and the last mode is actually a threshold mode where basically it's going to give you a grayscale image and then you can set uh, either above equal to or below a certain temperature. Now the temperature range on this is pretty extreme uh, 475 down to minus 5. Uh, by default when I first uh, got the camera or this loaded software 80 degrees was the default so, it, the default, so it basically what it'll do is it'll take the threshold temperature and colorize either above whatever's equal to plus or minus a certain amount or below. So in using that function I can go over here again we'll go back to the cat and you can see exactly what's uh, where he's above 80 degrees at. Uh, that could be real useful for finding hot spots uh, where you know what the background temperature is supposed to be on something now. As I'm going around I'm looking at the oven which I have set to warm so it's not blazingly hot but uh, there you go there's where all the heat loss is coming out of the oven okay we're back to regular camera mode on the Seek camera uh, as I said you can record videos and JPEGs uh, one other neat feature um, let me see this is maybe a little bit hard for me to do that this camera has is that it has a mode where you can select up here we go with the orientation thing on this thing where you can select uh, to see both the camera and your device and the seat cameras output at the same time uh, now in looking at this uh, you'll notice that things aren't exactly matching up and the reason for that is this seat camera has a 
36 degree viewing angle. The uh, camera for the tablet has a much wider viewing angle, so your images don't match that. And cameras, one camera is down here, and the other camera is up uh, at the top of the tablet on the back side. So uh, this is useful to allow you to say, okay, if I go over here and I'm looking at that, and I can t tell that's another one, but maybe not. You know, if I can't, well, I can give you an idea of what I'm actually looking at so you can correlate your image. Uh, also on that, you can uh, you can swipe it across and kind of, you know, gives you the ability to split screen however you so desire. So that is, uh, that's it. That's all the software. That's how this uh, seat camera works. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to end this uh, video with voice recording of the tablet and the seat camera and we'll do a little walk around with just shooting video from the Seek application and uh, I'll overlay a little bit of uh, commentary on that to uh, to give you an idea of what it's capable of. Uh, again, uh, one thing that I uh, didn't mention is that the Seek application, although it can record video, uh, you can't get audio with it, so uh, not at this time anyway. Maybe, uh, maybe Seek will see fit to let you use your uh, microphone and your device and record audio as well later on down the road. So anyway, without further ado, uh, here's a Seek video.